Hey guys, several months ago I posted this picture on Instagram. This stuff is called lit and it's said to be the most powerful light emitting pigment on the planet. I have a jar of it myself and really if you leave it in the sun for a few minutes you will notice that it glows green even if it's not completely dark in the room. And in complete darkness the glowing effect is really striking. But here's the thing, I also have this bag of generic glow in the dark powder from China which happens to be 4 times cheaper. This bag right here holds about 12 grams of powder and it cost me less than a dollar with free shipping. By comparison a 50 gram jar of lit costs about 13 dollars plus shipping on top of that. And frankly the generic powder looks very potent as well. It glows quite brightly in the dark and it might be an alternative to the more expensive lit pigment. To find out if that's the case I did a quick comparison between the two powders. I got 3 small containers and prepared 3 batches of paint. The first one was made using the lit pigment according to the provided instructions by mixing 2.5 parts of pigment with 1 part water and 1 part acrylic medium. I must point out that I am not an artist and I have never mixed my own paints before. I'm pretty sure that I didn't do a very good job here because my paint ended up a bit lumpy and didn't have a good flow. So if you see me doing something wrong please let me know in the comments. Anyway in the second container I made paint using the generic powder following the same formula. I quickly noticed that the powder had a harder time blending with the water. In the last container I wanted to make an extra powerful blend so I simply dumped the remaining generic powder. Instead of using any water I just used a spoon and a half of acrylic medium. As canvas I just used a simple piece of A4 printer paper since that is what I had available at the time. I applied a generous amount of paint and as you can see the generic powder had a much more saturated color. So things for it were looking really bright. Then I left the piece of paper outside for about 20 minutes to soak up some light from the sun. And this is what the results look like. I was hoping that the generic powder would come close to lit in terms of brightness but really there is no competition here. Even the extra powerful blend that I mixed is nowhere near the brightness of lit although I must admit that it is still pretty cool to look at. But as expected 10 minutes later the glow of all paints had faded out significantly. One hour later it was too hard to capture anything on camera but to the naked eye lit was still fairly bright while the generic powder was barely visible. This was by no means a scientific test. As I said I am not an artist and I know nothing about making paints from pigment. But in conclusion I would say that the cheaper generic glowing powder is usable especially if you're better than me at mixing your own paints. For the price it is probably good enough for most homemade projects. But if you want your work to really stand out then lit is definitely the pigment to go with. It's pretty awesome. Links to both products can be found in the description below. Thank you for watching and subscribe to my channel to never miss any of my future videos.